Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and so this is going to be, I know, another haul, but I went to Kmart and Walgreens recently, and oh my gosh, they're having amazing deals. You guys have to check it out. Their clearance section, Kmart's clearance section, is amazing. Um, so I have another haul. I've kind of stuffed everything into this little box right here, and then some, and I know I'm crazy, but um, let's just step into it. I'm going to do some swatches. I'm going to try and run through everything pretty quick, so I apologize if I'm talking fast, but I have a lot to show you. I want to show you what's out there, kind of break things down, give mini reviews. And I also have some stuff on my face from what I got so I can show you on my face what it looks like. So let's just jump into first moisturizer. I got this new Avena Ultra Calming Daily Moisturizer. It has SPF 15. I was originally using this Neutrogena um, Oil Free Lotion for acne prone skin. But I think it kind of broke me out. This is the only thing I've changed and I've kind of got some breakouts going on over there. So I just picked this up. Um, I can already tell this is calming my skin. I'm now using pretty much everything. Avena related for my moisturizing and just face cleansing routine and I think that's kind of good. I think my skin really likes Avena products. So really happy about that. Um, a really new, a new purchase is the 320 Golden Whipped Foundation from Rebel Color Colorstay. I'm totally out of mine. I used the last bit this morning. So that is what I have on my face today. And so this is the same exact thing. Revlon is buy one get one 50% off right now at my Walgreens. So with that I picked up the Revlon Nearly Naked Pressed Powder in the color Medium 030. This is what this looks like. It's very, very creamy texture. Um, you can't really see it. You do have to pick up a little bit. And So with this I go back to my e.l.f. Um, flat top powder brush and I just dab it in there and then pat it on my face like that. And I think it controls oil really well. Highly recommend this. I'm Really glad I got it. Primer, this is the Radiance Primer, I believe this one is, the Perfecting Primer. Um, yeah, they have like a grain shade too, but I picked up this one. I'm out of my e.l.f. primer. I needed something new. This comes out just beautifully. It's kind of like a lotion, like a pink tinted lotion. And then, excuse me, just blend it in and it is so soft. So I love this. It's not making me break out and I have it on my face right now under my foundation and I'm loving it. So, the Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This is also another repurchase. I don't know where mine is, but I'm out of it. I use it. I only got that one like not even a month ago. So I go through this stuff like crazy, but I just, I absolutely love it. So I highly rec recommend this. I'm in the color light pale. All right. Now moving on to some lip glosses. I picked up some more NYX lip glosses because um, I have the one, the Sweetheart. This is the only kind I had, and I loved it, so, you know, I picked up the YouTube favorite, which is beige, which this is not beige. have it on my lips right now over a lipstick that I will show you, and, again, this is not beige, but I think this is the prettiest color. It smells amazing. This doesn't crease on my lips, and it does not set on the fine lines. Also, another Mega Shine Lip Gloss from NYX. This is in the color Cosmo. Just a really, this one's very shimmery and sparkly, but I thought it'd be kind of fun for, like, a, you know, a totally bronzed out, I don't know, glowy face. I don't know. So this is a lipstick that I have paired with that lip gloss from NYX, and this is in the color 312 Chiffon? Chiffon? I'm not really sure. It's just this light baby pink. It's pretty sheer and also pretty frosty, but underneath, this kind of just like neutralizes my lips, and then with the lip gloss on top, it's beautiful. I really like it. Also picked up two Milani lipsticks because they were also having a sale at Kmart today. It was buy one, get one 50% off. And I've never tried Milani's lipsticks before, so I said, why not? I have mine in the color Nude Cream, number 26. Very creamy. Love this. Just like a corally pink nude. Also the color Sangria, number 21. And I love this packaging. Very cute. Where am I going? So kind of like a cranberry color, also very creamy. This one has more of a matte finish, but I do really like it. For lip products, you guys know Wet n Wild. I'm sure you've heard about these. 99 cents, that's it. And I really love them. Um, I got three colors. I have the color 907 Mauve. I actually already had this color. I didn't realize it when I picked it up, but I guess that just shows how much I loved it. There's a the color. These are very matte. They can be a little bit drying. Um, but you're paying 99 cents for them, so who's going to complain? And you can just put a gloss over it and it works perfect, or a really good lip balm underneath it. Also got the color 900B. I'm not really sure what the color is. What does it say? This one's just like a typical nude with a orangish coral undertone. And then lastly, this crazy color, 919. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what I was thinking when I got this. 
I have joined the dark side, that's all I shall say. So this is a tip. It was like a plummy purple, but it's not a good spot to swatch anyways. That's like, um, yeah, I don't know, we'll see. I'll, I'll play around with it. In person it has a little bit of a purple tint, maybe if I put it with like a really nice lip gloss, I don't know, I'm trying. <laughs> this was the concealer that came with this crazy, oh, this together, $3.50, I kid you not. Can you beat that? Um, I wasn't even going to pick this up, this was at the clearing section at Kmart. So I love the Revlon Photo Ready Concealer. As you can see, this one's formally beaten up, and that's as far as my stick goes. I'm almost out. However, this is in the color uh, light medium, and as you know in clearance, you don't really get to pick your color, it's just whatever's on clearance. Well, this is in the color 350 Breach Ginger. As you saw, my foundation color is 320. I also have the same foundation in 330. That's perfectly fine. So I thought 350, maybe in the summertime when I'm tanner, this might work. And this is in the color just medium deep. I put it all under my eyes today. This is definitely not a... Oh, I have to sneeze. Excuse me. <laughs> Strawberries. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, this is definitely not a brightener, but it is a neutralizer and... I just love these concealers, especially when I get tanner, it'll be really good for spot concealing. So I really like that. And then this is a Revlon Photo Ready um, Compact Makeup. I don't even know what this is still. It's like a crane makeup. I tried to play with it today, <laughs> as you can see. And it's a really weird, there's like, it's material and you press it and I don't know. If you guys know how to use this effectively and right, will you please let me know in the comments down below. I'm really curious about it. I've been really into cream makeup lately and I just want to know how to use this properly. So then I also picked up some, some falsies from Alpha. I'm going to give false lashes another shot because I kind of, I don't wear falsies right now at all. The NYX Rouge Clean Cream Blush finally. I know I'm really late on this bandwagon, but this is what it looks like. I have it on my face today, just back here right above my contour, and it's so creamy. Oh my goodness, love it. We'll go right here. So creamy, very, very pigmented though. So with this, I use the Elf Sibling Brush very lightly like I did today. Just patted it and then I just go like this on my face and just pat it up. And I think it's so beautiful though. All right, are we almost done? We're almost done. We just have three nail polishes and then we're done, I promise. All right, first nail polish is the one I'm wearing. It's called Midnight Peacock, I believe this is. Precious Peacock, I don't know where I got Midnight from. This is what it looks like. So that's the bottle, so what it looks like. Love it, it's just like an emeraldy blue undertoned gorgeous color, perfect for spring and summer, loving it. Then I picked up, this was a $1.50 on clearance from Kmart, and this is from Revlon, and you can't, that's a good deal, One to, one fifty. I love Re Revlon nail polishes. It's just like a deep lavender color, I love it a lot. Next one is NYC, this was also really, really inexpensive, it was like $1.99 or something. Beautiful yellow, um, it's more gold than showing on in camera in person, it's more gold. And it's the Midtown Mimosa, and I'm so excited to wear this in the summertime. I was debating on putting this one on today, or the other one I went with this one, just because this is a little bit sheer, I noticed, so maybe three coats, I think, to get this pigment. Um, unless you want something really light, then two coats. But I believe that is everything that I picked up. Um, I apologize for this huge haul, but I love watching hauls. I think it's so great, especially when you find clearance. I think picking things up the clearance is probably my favorite thing to do because I tend to buy things I wouldn't usually buy, like that compact makeup from Revlon. I would never buy that, but I may grow to love it. And then some of these lipsticks I would have never bought, and I just think that it's a great concept because it just lets you experiment out of your normal, you know, go-tos. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this kind of broke some stuff down at the drugstore.